Right, there's one web collector here. Right, I'm around Metallic's house at the minute, so the video's going to be a bit odd. She is here. She's actually stood just there holding a light up for me. <laughs> it's a bit dark in here. So today I was going to show you her roadkill kit, which is the, the little kit she has for if she comes across any roadkill for prepping the bodies, I suppose you'd call it, um, to get it home, to get the, the, you know, the body home, whatever you call it, what would you call it? Body, that's really the, the body. The pelt, the skull get, and the but get, but get the get the thing there home so you can prepare it. Also, all these videos are going to have to be done in one go because I don't have an editor, right? So this is a roadkill kit. I call it a misery kit. She, the first time I met Metallic, she told me she had this. And uh, I was a little bit worried at the time. Well, that's when I walked <laughs> in and said, oh, I've got my misery kit. <laughs> yes. So yeah, well, this is it. So I'll show you what she's got in it. And um, There's no hammers. You, <laughs> you can tell me what you think of it, and um, you may have some tips for stuff to add. Do you reckon you need to add anything? Or are you fine? Well, I've got my gore stand now. But I just need to get the stuff home. There you go. So, Poundland toolbox in the top. She has got a little comb. It's a knit comb, in it? and that is for removing ticks. There's a, well, there's a spare hacksaw blade, which I'll go over in a bit. Chain. I'm assuming that's for hanging the, the parts. Some paracord. And a little strap there that was, what did you say that was to your brother's? Um... The smiler's lead, one of his leads, but it's quite a sturdy piece of material, so it just went in there because I wouldn't know what else to do with it. should hold right so inside we have a pair of rubber gloves a pair of cut proof gloves essential right, I'm gonna put this down to get the rest out yeah, hold up. Oh, no, that's all right I cannot do that. some skinning knives here I'll show you all these how many knives are there in there four this was my first one all right so this is the first one Jack Pike got that from a prepper's meat. Somebody had got that, stuck it in the cupboard, never used it. Can't remember how much paid for it. Bloody good knife. Did have loads of paint and stuff on it. The, the, the Jack Pike it was like a special edition thing. So I stripped all the paint off and that's actually oak on those scales. Looks much nicer now. Right, it's just one. Which one now? That one I got from another prepper's meat, which is just a sort of randomer. Really? Has it got a thingy on it? Yeah, it's got a gut hook that I've never used. Oh, that's caught on the thingy. Right. Very odd lighting in here at the minute because it's really dark, so we got it's hard to get in a position where I know where I'm not going to be in the shadow. So there's the second one. That one's actually got bottle opener screwdriver pry bar type bit and the, and the gutting hook on that. Which one now? This one? That one I got a year or two ago. It's a meaty little one that. So I've got three of those because you sharpen those to like a 25 degree angle and they do get blunt quick. I'm no professional. I'm sure there's lots of people who go, hey, you don't need more than one blade. Mine get blunt. Sue me. And then this is the final one. This is what you do your first cut with, don't you? Yeah this, you yeah, this is what I get the first cut in with. This was given to me by a friend of mine called Roger. It's properly old. I don't know if you can see the mm. markings on it. Probably not in this kind of lighting. Flip it the other way. And there's the... I made a little sheaf for it. Made. Yeah, it's... it's it's very hard to light. It's weird, it's like a little footprint or something on it. Yeah, let me have a look. Got some glasses. <laughs> Piss taker, isn't it? Right. Oh, it says made, on, made in and we ain't got the rest of it, but there's a little footprint on there, so if anyone knows what that is. It's, it's pretty old, though. 
Right, so that's the blades anyway. So she's got four knives in there. Heavy duty bin bags. Oh, bin bags. Hooves will cut through those. Hand sanitizer, clean your hands and whatever. There's the hacksaw to go with the spare blade. That's for cutting through bone and the neck you said. Yes, yeah, so, like so I can take the heads home so I can get the skulls processed. But it's also for cutting the feet off because hooves will go directly through even the heaviest bin liners. A bit more paracord. The original hooks she used and the ones she uses now. The better ones. Yeah. So I don't, I don't need to use those now because I now have my gore stand. Oh yes, yeah. I made Metallica a lovely gore stand. What I'll do now though, before we go off, so that is the kit, that's the that's the main kit. I'll show you some of the furs. You've actually oh, take that knife, I just got to put that one in the um, thing. Right, so you can name them. Which one should I show Start first? with the water deer, because that was one of the first ones. So this is Louis. This was a water deer found a couple of weeks before Christmas. What year was it? It should say. 2019. I'll show the back. Look, it's quite yeah, but it also says it? the road I found it on. So we'll turn it back around. But this is lovely fur. It took a long time to, to get dry, but it's so soft and lovely. It's very unusual fur. It's very thick, but it's also very absorbent and very breakable. My grandson has the second of the two of these that I found that, that day. And he's no longer allowed it as a bedroom rug because my daughter's sick to death of hoovering it up. Right, next one. Which one shall I say now? Uh, after that, I'd say Samuel, the sad and unfortunate one. <laughs> sad and unfortunate because he was a couple of days dead before I got to him. This is a summer pelt. So he's lovely and soft. Lost half his tail because, you know, I'm impatient. Did what I could. Saved what I could. Is nice and soft. I did boo up there and cut him right down the middle on the last scrape. But he's nice and soft as that well. That one was 2020. Which one now? We'll try and keep this under 10 minutes. It was about yeah. 7 minutes. Right, I guess Jasper. That was from last Mother's Day. And that was the Munt Jack that was shot. This is my foot. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was Natalie was after him. Never mind. Jasper was last Mother's Day. This is the first time I've managed to do ears. Full face. Really regret trimming him. Right. Yeah, a little money. Ate him. And this one was 2022. Yeah, so he was shot for me, and I've still got a couple of his feet. Oh, I've forgotten her. Then you got Natalie. Don't judge me. I tried stuffing her. She looked like a demented ferret, so I had to unstuff her face. But I got most of it. Well, I did get her whole tail. She was named after the police lady that ended up holding the torch for me when I lost light because someone called the police at me skinning a fox in a wood. Which is why I now have a gore stand. That is generally why I made it, to be honest. I didn't want to, have to keep having the trouble of being out. and. Yeah, and that's also yeah. how I know all these little knives are very legal if you've got a good use for them, because the bloke copper would have arrested me had he right, been so able to. Right, should squirrels? Yep. These are squirrels that Malcolm gave me. There's one more in my freezer. Yeah, these, are lo these were local to me, these were. Three of those. We ate one of those and it was ruddy delicious. Oh no, there's one in the freezer we ate, isn't it? I, I think so, yeah. I don't think they, well, it is. I can't remember. No, no, they came separately, didn't they? I think that's it, isn't it? So, yeah, there's an example of what oh, you can do. Oh, and then, of do. course, if you'd like to hold that, I'll go and grab. When you finish up, I'll go and grab Randall. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Randall's well worth seeing. So, yeah, once you get Randall, um, we've all got time to think of something to say. But, yeah, that's an example of what you can do with. Not all these are roadkill, like these weren't roadkill, but um, yeah, these this are examples also, of what you can do with roadkill. This also was shot, and the bloke who shot it said he didn't want to waste the skin if I was up for using it. This is a lovely one. This, this one. is what we well, they're all lovely, but did lose a, a lot of his tail. But this was from January nice. this year. There's a little fallow deer, and I didn't trim this one, so I didn't waste any of this good fur down the corners here. Where's the head bit? That was the neck. That's the neck. That one ain't got a um. No, there's no head on that. No. No, I didn't have had information you didn't want to oh, show. Yeah. It's worth seeing the back, you know, the inside as well. See the quality of you know when it's actually tanned in that. It's really nice. I think this was an egg tan. But I can't honestly remember. I know Jasper was definitely an egg tan. Right there you go. That is metallics. 
Forgot the name already. Roadkill kid. Roadkill. You're telling me off for that. Right, yeah. So let us know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. I would say let us know if you think she needs to add anything, but she obviously doesn't. But um, yeah. I hope it's helpful to you. Right? Cheers, watching everyone. <laughs> See you later. Bye.